there! This is TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing Machine. Today I've got one of the classics for you, and you don't even have to have electricity to run this one. This is a Finger Class 66, one of the most enduring, famous, still a zillion of them running. They've been manufactured since, geez, before World War One, I, I think is when this design first showed up. Um, this one's probably from the early 50s. You could look it up with the serial number if you want. Um, this one has a back tack, so you have reverse. A lot of 66s were just had a screw knob where you just forward and that's it. Um, here's your pressure on your foot, so you can screw it down for more pressure or up for less. There's a marked throat plate on this machine, marked in eighths, two through seven. Straight stitch only. Top drop in bobbin, no bobbin case to fumble with. Let's wind a bobbin right now. No electricity. Wait. That means no light. And that means no foot control. We've got a hand crank. Portable. Don't need electricity. This is great for craft fairs, renaissance fair. Um, taking on the RV, going dry camping. Um, if you're a hippie, take this out to do your, your sewing. Okay, check this out. Hand crank. We're winding the bobbin right now. Right over here. Yeah, let's just wind about that much for the purposes of our demonstration. That's enough. Okay, let's take that up. Bobbin goes in like that. Thread going off this way. Pull it across like that. Top thread through the tension discs, spring under, take up lever. Again, the Singer 66 is a lot of information online about this if you want to know uh, lots about it. Any straight stitch low shank attachments will fit this machine. This is one of the newer 66's that just had the basic low shank attachments. You can buy rufflers, quilters, even feed, darning feet, all kinds of different feet. Just look for low shank center needle. Okay, let's raise the bottom thread by turning the hand wheel towards us. And there it is. Close. Now that's a class 66 bobbin. When you go to the sewing machine or, or fabric store to get more bobbins, class 66. Class 15 is more common. Make sure you get class 66. It's got the sort of domed sides. They come in clear and metal. This machine, the needle goes in with the flat side facing the pillar. And let's try some sewing. Again, now, a hand crank machine is uniquely suited to quilting. Very precise stuff, because look at this. Look at, look at this. You can go just as slow and precisely as you want. You want to get up to that thread and stop, turn, pivot. You can do just that. Okay. Also for folks who are maybe a little skittish of electricity and fast sewing machines, or this machine would be awesome for teaching a young person how to sew. See how the, the wheel turns? The crank turns this way, but the wheel's going that way. So if you ever want to just do something with the wheel, turn it towards you, but the crank turns away. Now another place that this sort of machine is really useful is if you're making dolls and bears, sewing very small things in a very precise manner. The 66 is also known for being a very heavy duty machine. When you move the motor, it's even more heavy duty. Watch this. Here's our piece of bonded garment leather that we show in a lot of our demos. Watch what you can do with a hand crank. We've got it on a, on a long stitch line. And just power right through that. If you're sewing a little bear, stuffed animal, um, whatever you want there. Now, check this out. If you want to go in reverse, don't turn the hand crank backwards. The hand crank has to keep going the same way. And then you reverse this way. Hand cranks and bears. So for precision sewing of heavy materials, 
when you're making bears or say a leather top or anything where you want to get right on to be able to pivot. The machine's very quiet. This would be so, it's such an attention getting thing to sit out at a craft fair and sew on one of these. People will be drawn to your booth just, just immediately because it's such a beautiful piece of American past. So this wonderful Singer hand crank, now this is, let me, let me tell you a few things about it. This machine is a working machine. It's not something to sit on the shelf and say it wasn't that pretty. We've got a little issues with the finish here. Not scratched or rusty or anything, but the shellac coating has, has, got, trans, has got opaque here. This hand crank is an aftermarket crank. It was not original with the machine. Um, these machines could be supplied as treadle, electric, or hand crank. This is not the original Singer hand crank, it's an aftermarket version. If you wanted to put this machine in a treadle stand or stick a motor on it, you certainly could. But the beauty of a hand crank, let me tell you, it's fun to sew on. This wonderful machine can be yours. From Stagecoach Road Sewing, contact us and we'll get it right to you. Thanks a lot.